Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's uh, talk a little bit of mountain weather on this Saturday. Here are my headlines. So heavy precip continues in California with high snow levels today. Then we look beyond this surge and the next one coming in is late 313 through about early 315. That's going to be a moderate maybe low level strong type intensity atmospheric river surge. So there's another storm another air surge and then even behind that on 315 there's another storm system lined up with a powerful jet for 318 to 320 so the active pattern continues across the west and of course all of this is just becomes blow off overrun snow for utah wyoming colorado northern new mexico so everybody's in on the action here now looking down the road at the northeast you've got a storm system coming in 313 through 315 um, and then a secondary storm potential for 318. So we could be looking at at least a foot, maybe more, probably more of accumulation when you look at everything as grand totals, probably more than a foot for a lot of the Northeast. So we'll take a look at all that in this update. I want to show you my uh, my blog post, and I actually just posted this, chrystomer.com. So the next AR surge 314, late 313 and 314, early 315. And then there's a storm system, like I said, for 319. So take a look at that. Um, I mean, it's just in full swing right now. When you look at the uh, water vapor, I mean, the flow is straight out of Hawaii, out of the Pacific, Pineapple Express. I also did this, Forecast Lake, Tahoe, rain and snow level. So take a look at this on the blog. Today, the snow level is up to 7,200 feet. Tomorrow, 71, 72 for 313. So it's pretty much the same. Then it jumps with the next AR surge up to about 7,900 to 8,000 feet on 314. So that's way up there. So we're dealing with rain snow at many base areas on 314. 315 down to 7100 and then things come to a close. It dries out on 316 and it warms up. The snow level could be as high as 9200, um, but it's, it should be a dry day on 316. Um, and then the next storm will be right on the heels of that coming in probably 318, 319, 320. Um, I also looked at the forecast pattern with the jet and I'll show you this full so this is 319 and you can see it it's a powerful west to east orientation so whatever's over the Pacific and there's a storm it'll just escort it right in California into Utah into Colorado into northern New Mexico into Wyoming and that's exactly what's going to happen at that time frame all right let me show you the forecast timing it's the next item on the list we'll take it full here's the forecast radar and satellite Sunday morning Still snow, overrun snow, heavy precip in California, valley rains. And then here's the next surge. Boy, it comes in hot and heavy, 314, 315. And then it overruns into the Intermountain West with heavy snow in northern New Mexico and parts of Colorado. Um, and that runs us through 316. So we've got a lot of precip yet to go. And then I went into my forecast totals. So let me just show you what I'm thinking. Rest of today through 313, still looking at about another foot across Tahoe. In Colorado, two to four inches. Pretty light snows elsewhere. Whistler could see a foot. Revelstoke does about eight. Here's the second period. So this captures um, that second AR plus the storm system afterwards. So we're looking at a couple of feet, maybe three feet across the Sierra. Um, at least a foot for the Wasatch, about a foot for the Tetons, looking good, and parts of Timberline and Bachelor. In Colorado, the western slope and southwest mountains get the most with one to two feet, less in Summit County, less in the northern mountains. And look at uh, Taos in northern New Mexico, awesome, with that, uh, that, second, that second storm system coming in, uh, looking at one to two feet of snow. Love seeing that. All right, just a couple specialty maps here. So again, the central to northern mountains of Colorado, grand totals, um, not a ton here, but probably 6 to 10 for most of the I-70 corridor in north. Again, quite a bit more as you go to the western slope, Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, down into the San Juans, you're looking at more. And in fact, you can see the numbers here, looking at uh, 1 to 2, maybe a 3-foot number there over Wolf Creek. That's quite a bit of snow. And even look at the numbers for Durango and Bayfield. That's out of that storm on the 18, 19, 20 time frame because it's going to be a little bit colder. All right, uh, and into the northeast. So 311 through 320. Again, most of this comes late 313, 314 especially, early 315, and then potentially 318 could be that secondary storm um, with some wraparound snow. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Saturday. I hope everyone's having a good day. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.